I pass the floor to President Vucic. Please keep it short. It's not about replying to everything that was said. It's about something that happened for the first time in his body. You brought people that, don't, that do not belong here to diplomatic corps or to advisory team of Madame Osmani. It is a sort of political theater and a setup for Serbian delegation. And what we were listening to, I was fully focused on a report made by Karolina Ziade. And what, we are what, we, what we've been listening so far, it was like a war trial process against Serbs from, for something that happened 25 years ago. Not a single word about the report. Nothing about last six months. Why didn't you inform us who was going to be a member of each delegation? Do you really believe that there are or that there were no raped Serbian women in Kosovo during that period? I can show you, but there is one person that I couldn't bring here as a part of my delegation. That's Marica Miric from Bielopolje, from Kosovo. That woman, at that period of time, was raped several times and then slaughtered. But that was not the topic of our today's meeting. That's the real issue. Please, next time, inform us, at least, as a founder of the United Nations, that some citizens that will be present at this session will bring more people to put the blame on the other side, because we are here to discuss the report and the possible consequences of political activities and everything else. And just to ask you one question, because you heard that a few days ago Serbia presented Irani drones somewhere in Serbia. Just for all of you to hear the truth, to hear what is re really going on. I have never seen, and no one in Serbia has ever seen any single Irani drone. It has never happened in this our This can country. be addressed in your right of reply. Thank, Thank you. you, President Vucic. Thank and with you. regards to the, the delegation from Kosovo, we have nothing to do with it. This is UN protocol that does accreditation. Just as we do not know the names of your um, delegation who was accredited here. I now pass the floor to Ms. Osmani. And please, we must keep, uh, maintain the respect of this council and keep brief. On the point of order, I pass the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I planned uh, from uh, the outset to, 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 to speak about this during my statement, but I think that raising this question under a uh, point of order would be more appropriate. Uh, the President Vucic warned me, but I wanted to say the same. Sorry, rather, President Vucic said this before, but I wanted to say, Madam Asmani uh, constantly uh, uh, turns to people sitting behind her and flatters them uh, with the label of members of their delegation. Madam, uh, 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 Madam Osmani was invited under th Rule 37 as a briefer as a, uh, in today's meeting, and her participation does not provide for the presence of any delegation alongside her and those people who are behind her in the best of cases. If, if even if protocol allowed them in, should be seated over there in the chamber over there. This is a clear of a breach of uh, rules of procedure, and regardless of who carried this out, Madam President, we ask that this be gotten no, that, that that this be addressed duly. Thank you. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation, and I am informed that members of civil society do bring under th Rule 39 and 37. Um, members of delegation with them, and this is how they were accredited. Thank you. I now pass the floor to Ms. Osmani. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Of course, I reserve my right to respond to all of the spear of propaganda that we heard from Vucic earlier, but when it comes to the procedural issue that has been raised, I want to uh, inform the members of this council that apart from being 
great advocates for justice, the four women sitting behind me, are also members of my cabinet appointed as such. So they are also here on an advisory capacity because they work for causes that are very dear to my heart, such as supporting women that are survivors of sexual violence, as well as supporting the families of those who suffered from the war. So they are in that capacity as well, as members of my cabinet.